Now that most of the flames have subsided, much of the hard work is happening on the ground. Hand crews is a big portion of our fire to you know, make those fire breaks around the structure. You know, there's just not enough hand crews, so they can help supplement our hand crews uh, throughout the state. Tonight, more than 200 National Guardsmen have moved in for the sole purpose to be extra hands to prevent fire from sparking again. Crews are raking and mopping around homes like this one off Empire Grade, where flames inched close to the back of the property but never took it out. Uh, they are detecting more of these smokes that are popping up in the, this thick um, matted material, the duff on the, the forest floor. It's just uh, just little hot spots that we're going to have to take care of over the coming days and, and even weeks and months. This is the second time the National Guard has been called into Santa Cruz County just this year. They've also provided manual labor for the Second Harvest Food Bank. And the National Guard has been called in for wildfires before as part of the state's emergency response plan. Uh, we'll be used in lo locations where the fire activity is very minimal, help and mop up so we can free up those resources to a more active part of the fire. Meantime, PG&E crews are starting to restore fallen power lines in some of the hardest hit areas like Boulder Creek and Bonnie Dune. All work that has to be finished before more evacuations can be lifted. They're going to have to use helicopters to replace all of those locations that were damaged. So it just depends on how uh, fast they can get into those locations. And